News came out on Saturday that the Grizzlies were waiving rookie guard Kennedy Chandler. Chandler's release came as a surprise, considering he inked a three-year deal with the team last offseason and made 36 NBA appearances during his rookie season. After opening up a roster spot, it was reported that the Memphis Grizzlies would convert two-way rookie Kenneth Lofton Jr. to a four-year, $7 million contract. Lofton was named the G League Rookie of the Year after averaging 22 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1 steal on 54.4% shooting from the field of the Memphis Hustle. The Grizzlies opted to sign Lofton in part to add front court depth that Steven Adams expected to miss the postseason due to a right knee injury. This meant that Lofton was good to go in the Grizzlies' final regular season game last night, and he put on an absolute show in his first game of the standard contract. He finished with 42 points, 14 rebounds, and shot 17 of 25 from the field, with 35 of his points coming in the second half. The scoring outburst is the highest point scored in a game by a rookie this season, outdoing first overall pick Paolo Banquero's 33. Among players to debut since starts were first officially tracked in 1971, Kenneth Lofton Jr. is the first to post a 40.10 rebound game in his first career start. It was a breakout performance for the ages, and his bruising style of play was no match for the Thunder defenders. It looks like the Grizzlies may have themselves a second coming of Zach Randolph. The Memphis Grizzlies have been hiding a future star in Kenneth Lofton Jr. To truly understand how good Lofton can become, let's take a look at his young career so far and how crazy his performance was last night. Before we get into the latest gem that Memphis has found, if you enjoy my content and watch a few videos of mine, think about subscribing. 96% of my viewers are actually not subscribed, so if you're watching before and enjoy the content, drop a sub and comment down below. It really helps the channel. Kenneth Lofton Jr. was a three-star recruit in the class of 2020, and was not ranked inside the top 100. The only D1 college listed on ESPN as even giving him an offer was Louisiana Tech, where is where he ended up committing and playing. At 6'6 six six and 225 pounds coming out of high school, he looked vastly different than he does today, and seemingly didn't have an NBA future. However, he would leave college at 6 foot 7 and 275 pounds, and with his athleticism for his size and ability to be a brute force offensively, he did catch the eye of NBA scouts. But first, let's take a look at his college performance. Lofton spent two years at Louisiana Tech, proving himself as a great D1 player almost immediately, starting 61 games in the two seasons. He was the Conference USA Rookie of the Year, and also a two-time All-Conference player. In his sophomore and final season, he averaged 17 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists, and a steal per game. He shot 54% from the field and 20% from 3, which wasn't good, but he had started attempting them, which was a good sign. After this really solid season, Lofton decided to test out the 2022 NBA Draft waters, and ended up keeping his name in the draft. He put on a show at the G League Elite Camp, finishing the scrimmages averaging 13 points and 7.5 rebounds per game in front of NBA scouts and team personnel in May. The big man showcased the ability to run in transition and bully his way to a bucket in the paint. But for those who watched Lofton Jr. play at Louisiana Tech, his performance at the Combine was no surprise. He played well enough to earn an invitation to the Chicago Combine. He tended to play well when the lights were brightest, performing just as well while representing the United States in the 2021 FIBA U19 World Cup. The Texas native averaged 13 points and 5 rebounds per game on 64% shooting from the field in 7 games, helping the US win gold in Latvia. However, despite all of this upward momentum and impressive play heading into the draft, Lofton ended up going undrafted in the 2022 NBA draft. He signed a two-way deal with the Memphis Grizzlies, and the internet was littered with Zach Randolph comparisons. The idea might have seemed lazy at first. Lofton and Randolph are both undersized in height, but have a strong lower center of gravity and smooth left-handed jumpers. But then Lofton suited up, and the comparison looked legit. 
The 6 foot 7, 275 pound Lofton had emerged as one of the best stories from Summer League. He averaged 15.3 points on 20 for 31 shooting in a little over 18 minutes per game through three contests. Lofton, an undrafted free agent from Louisiana Tech, went viral after going at number two overall pick Chet Holmgren of the Oklahoma City Thunder with his overpowering size and strength. Things weren't perfect with Lofton. He was in good shape, but he's been prone to fouls and turnovers. The fouling is notable because during the regular season, quick guards may attack him to see if he can move laterally without fouling. The Grizzlies got a gift when Lofton signed a two-way deal. Lofton stated that Memphis gave him an opportunity, which he was thankful for on draft night. Despite the great summer league performance, Lofton remained on a two-way contract this season and spent the majority of the year in the G League. Yet he still showed how high his upside was there, because he dominated. Lofton was named the G League Rookie of the Year after averaging 22.4 points, 10.1 rebounds, 3.6 assists, and 1.2 steals on 54% shooting from the field with the Memphis Hustle. He finished 8th in scoring and 10th in rebounding among players with at least 15 appearances. The undrafted standout from Louisiana Tech recorded 20 20 point games, including 5 30 point efforts. He was 12th in double doubles and one of 26 players in the G League this season to register at least one triple double. As a reward for this play, Lofton was converted to a four year, $7 million contract on Saturday so that he could be eligible to play in the playoffs and be on the team going forward. That left him with one game left in the regular season to ball out, and he had a masterclass performance. He finished with 42 points, 14 rebounds, and shot 17 of 25 from the field, with 35 of those points coming in the second half. The scoring outburst is the highest point scored in a game by a rookie this season, outdoing first overall pick Paolo Banquero's 33. Among players to debut since starts were first officially tracked in 1971, Kenneth Lofton Jr. is the first player to post a 40-point, 10-rebound game in his first career start. Lofton's importance increased with Brandon Clark going down with a season-ending injury, and injured Steven Adams unlikely to be available for the playoffs. Lofton displayed his offensive touch and showed his strength again, but it was his offensive rebounding that stood out as an area Memphis could use help. The Grizzlies haven't struggled to score without Adams and Clark, but offensive rebounding went from a major strength to a question mark. Lofton crashed the glass and also got hustle rebounds while crashing from outside the paint. He had the best performance by a rookie all season, and it came in his first NBA start, one of the best debut starts in NBA history. His physical, bruising style is one that has become kind of foreign in today's NBA, and he can use that to his advantage. He's drawn comparisons to Zion Williamson and Zach Randolph due to being an undersized bruiser, but he can legitimately be the Grizzlies' power forward of the future. The Grizzlies can go forward with a starting five of Ja, Bain, Brooks, Lofton, and Triple J for years to come. Memphis seems to continually find steals and great draft picks, and Lofton just seems to be the latest gem. His ceiling is higher than other steals like David Roddy, Zaire Williams, Brandon Clark, and maybe even Desmond Bain too. The Grizzlies have been hiding a future star with Kenneth Lofton Jr. He's been overlooked for practically his whole career, going from a three-star recruit to undrafted rookie to a G-leaguer. Yet he's proved himself at every level. He was a two-time all-conference member at Louisiana Tech, a star at the 2022 Summer League, and then the 2023 G League Rookie of the Year. He was rewarded for these successes and given a standard NBA contract on Saturday, the day before the Grizzlies' last game. He proved them right immediately yesterday. He finished with 42 points, 14 rebounds, and shot 17 of 25 from the field, with 35 of his points coming in the second half. It was the highest points scored in a game by a rookie this season, and the best debut in terms of points and rebounds in NBA history. Among players to debut since starts were first officially tracked, Lofton is the first to post a 40-10 game. 
His sky-high potential was on display, and he was living up to the Zach Randolph comparisons placed on him early on. He could be a surprise contributor for the Grizzlies in the playoffs, as he's clearly ready to play at the NBA level. He's still a relatively raw player, but the framework is clearly there. His potential is through the roof, and his unique play style makes him kind of hard to project. However, he looks like an unbelievable find for Memphis. The Grizzlies have been hiding a future star with Kenneth Lofton Jr. Thanks for watching. I'm Herm. Have a good one.